On September 16th, 2023, two officers observed a suspicious vehicle with its lights turned off at a local boat ramp. While approaching the vehicle, a heavy odor of Mary Jane was detected downwind from the vehicle. While making contact with the driver, later identified as Brantley, they observed a large cigar containing a green leafy substance in plain view. When the officer asked the driver if there was any hemp or Mary Jane in the vehicle, the driver spontaneously blurted out that he had Mary Jane. Where's your family at? Uh, you, you said your family? No, I got off of the phone with my friend. They're supposed to be meeting us in East Point. They're coming through something. Oh, they're leaving? Oh, cool. I'll just turn it to the truck and park real quick. Do you have any hemp or marijuana in the vehicle? Marijuana? How much? Did you just get done smoking? No, sir. It's just him, my bad. Okay. Uh, so you have marijuana in the vehicle or hemp? Sorry? Do you have hemp in the vehicle? You just said you had marijuana in the vehicle. I have okay, is that all you have? On the back window. Okay, do you have any weapons in the vehicle? Yes, sir. All right. Do me a favor, turn the truck off. Go ahead and step out of the truck. Do you have any firearms in the vehicle? Where's your marijuana located? How much? I'm not sure exactly. You're not sure how much? Okay. Just walk Step back here for just a second, man. Do you have anything in the back of the truck? Do y'all have anything? any guns, knives, weapons on you? Okay. Who's your uncle? Robbie Register. Robbie Register? Okay. Just hang out back here for me for a second, okay? Got anything in your pockets, any weapons or anything? Right, sir, just gonna pat you down real quick, yeah, okay? You good? You so it's just a little bit of marijuana, ain't no big deal, okay? Yeah, you good. Right? Just no weapons on you or anything like yeah. that? Okay, what's this in your just a phone? phone? Just a phone? Okay. Hang out right there for me for a sec. Hang out right here and we get some gloves real quick. How old are y'all? I'm 18. 18, 19? 19. 19? Okay. Y'all have y'all's IDs on you? Is that your bag, man? Yeah, that's your bag? Okay. okay. You said the marijuana is in there? Do you have any other type of drugs in there? Pills or anything? Uh, tell us now if you had anything else in there. No needles, nothing like that? Okay. Okay. All right. Ladies, are y'all doing all right? Yes, sir. Okay. You might open up the door. What, how old are y'all? Do me a favor, y'all just step out and walk around there with him, okay? Do y'all have anything in the vehicle that's yours? Okay, is this is this your bag right here, ma'am? Is it his bag? You got a bag in your bra? Just marijuana? Okay. Okay. Yeah, just uh just, hold just, on. just set that on the seat and yeah. step out, okay? Just yeah, just leave it open, okay? Brother, how much you got in here, man? I'm not sure how much it is, to be honest. It's a good bit, man. It's like a whole jar full. It's a lot, man. Are you, okay. Do you have a medical marijuana card? I do not. Do you have any fentanyl or anything in here I need to know about? Because I really don't want to breathe it in and die tonight. No. The only thing in there is the weed. Alright, y'all said y'all didn't have y'all's IDs on it? Alright. Okay. What's your first name? J. Dan Richards. Can you spell it for me? A Y D A N N. A Y D A N N. All right. Middle Richards. initial. K. K. And whose whose bra is this in here? Eric's mom. Okay. Whose bag is this? Okay. Brother, come over here real quick for me. Come to the front of the truck. Come over here. Just hang out in front of the truck real quick. I'm gonna read you your rights. Okay. Because I don't want to proceed with any questioning until you know your rights, okay? You've already told me up to this point that you did have marijuana in the vehicle and that that's your bag. But I'm going to read you your rights, okay? No, it doesn't. Okay, I don't know what I don't know what that is yet. You have the right to remain silent. With these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? Okay. Whose bag is that? 
Whose marijuana is that? How much is in there? Do you know what the weight is? I don't know what the weight is. This is important, though. Do you know what the, the threshold is for a felony amount versus a misdemeanor amount? I think it's over 20 grams. Yes. Do you know how much is in there? Brantley is read as Miranda writes, and he agrees to speak to the officer. When he is asked how much marijuana he thinks he has, he answers over 20 grams. But here's what Brantley didn't know. The officers didn't have a scale with them. And judging by the tone of this officer, it's highly likely that he would have just preferred to write him a ticket. Oh, and if that wasn't depressing enough for you guys, later on in the video, a Franklin County Sheriff will arrive on scene to assist the officers, most likely bringing them a scale. And guess what? It's the suspect's cousin, but he's already admitted to having a felony amount of marijuana. That's what I was trying to figure out, because usually, are you, are you dealing, man? It's like there's two different packages in there. There's, there's the jar, and then there's the, the little box with the marijuana in it. You ever been in trouble with the police before? I have. Go ahead with that one. Was it for marijuana? What was it for? It wasn't drug stuff. Okay. Do you know what it was for? Yeah, it was. I was in the vehicle while someone shot out of oh, the vehicle. Oh, good was in. grief, bro. That's heavy stuff. But that all got dropped. How old are you? 19. Okay. Is there anything else in the truck, man? Just in the bag? What's in this orange vape here? Okay, what about the one in the bag? Oh, just stay back there, man. This one. What's in that? It's nicotine, not THC. Okay. Where y'all where y'all headed tonight, man? Uh, I just got off the phone with my friend. We were waiting. He's in St. Joe, coming here. We were gonna meet him at his house and hang out for a little bit, and then go home. Okay, where's his house at? My house. Where his ha Where's his house? His house is on Wilderness Road. Okay. How often do you smoke, man? Uh, every other day, every day. Okay. Sir, do you do you have like a, an exemption to where you could go get a mar medical marijuana card or something? Uh, I haven't really. I've thought about it, but I haven't really tried to. I mean, as long as y'all don't find anything crazy. You know, brother, just 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 hold on a second, brother. We'll talk about that in a minute, okay? Who drives this truck often? Just you or? I drive it every now and again. Ma'am, what's your name? Jaden. Jaden, come up here with me real quick, okay? I'm going to read you your rights, okay? I know you already you already told us that's what it is. I haven't looked at it yet. I'm going to read you your rights, okay? Is your friend coming down here? Um, yeah. Is he coming down to the ramp? Okay, what kind of, what are they driving? I'm not sure. Okay, Miss Jaden? Yes. I'm going to read you your rights. This does not mean you're going to jail, okay? But I do need to ask you some questions about what's in there because stuff I found in the truck and everything. So I want to ask you some questions, okay? You have the right to remain silent to anything you say. With these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? Yeah. Okay. Right. Is that marijuana? Yes. Okay. And you, do you know how much is in there? Um, probably about a gram. Okay. It's probably about right. Um, um, whose bag is that in the truck? Is that, the bag? Yeah. That backpack that was in the middle? It's my brother's. Who? It's my brother's. Is he your brother? Mm -hmm. Okay. I um, just want to confirm that that's his bag because it's sitting in between the passenger and him. Mm -hmm. um, Alright. And that's all you had right there? Okay. That's not felony amounts that you have, you're not going to jail for that, okay? However, um, we'll talk about the rest in a minute, okay? okay? You can go ahead and step back there, okay? Um, actually... Have that, have that so come over. What's that? Have that so come over. Okay. 
Hey, come over here real quick. Where did where did all this come from? You bought it from somebody? Okay, you're not dealing this mess? Okay. Alright. What's your name again? Okay, come here. Um, you're going to jail tonight. Okay. You got too much marijuana, okay? If it was less than twenty grams, I might be cutting you loose and saying, have a good night. That's way too much, man. That's that's more than recreational use, okay? So turn around, put your hands behind your back, okay? You are call my man up. You can in a minute, okay? But I'm detaining you for now. You're under arrest, okay? And put the handcuffs on. You've been good and everything, but I can't, I can't, I can't work with that, okay? Is that too tight for you? Okay, you good? All right. Typically don't do this for marijuana, but you got a ton of marijuana, okay? Nope. Can't, to cannot, can't just take it and, and do and get rid of it, okay? Here's what I need from you girls, okay? This does not mean this is the end of his life, okay? If this is first charge for this, just okay, calm down a, a little bit, all right? I'm going to go put you in my truck. Uh, do, do they have your phone? I got my phone. Tell you what, if you back up to the truck right here real quick, I'm going to search you real quick. I'll pull your phone out, and I'll let one of them call, okay? Can you call? Can one of y'all drive the truck home? She can drive this. Okay. Any, any kind of intoxicants, any kind of... Have you, have you smoked tonight? Listen, you're not in trouble for that if you smoke tonight. I can't do anything I'm about that. Okay, if, are you under the influence right now? I, I mean, I smoked earlier. Okay, well, I'm not even working a DUI on you at this point, okay? But yes, just keep in mind you could be going for DUI, okay? Yes, Turn around real quick. Um, spread your legs. Spread your feet apart. Okay, I'm going to search you like I did earlier. I'm just going to pull this time you're under arrest. I'm going to watch that person behind this. You want to hold up to him? What's up, man? That's my cousin. Yeah, it's yeah. only amounts of marijuana. Right, that's Over cool. 20 grams. That's cool. Yeah. Anything else? That's it. We're going to take him, man. We were just... What's up, Brantley? What's up, man? What you done did, son? Call me. I'm arresting them for felony amounts. Yeah. That's how we know. Right before the officer mutes his body cam, you can hear the sheriff, who is also related to the suspect, ask if he wants to let him check the weight. This is a prime example as to why I think FWC officers shouldn't be allowed to mute their microphones during investigations. The sheriff runs back to his cruiser and grabs his scale, and they spend about 20 minutes weighing the marijuana. And there's no way of knowing exactly what these two are talking about for nearly 20 minutes, but I'm going to take a guess here. More than likely, they tried a few different ways to get the marijuana to weigh under, but there was just too much, and by this point, it was too much video evidence. Well, it's like I said, man, if it wasn't felony amounts, I'd probably be cutting you loose, okay? But, you know, once it comes to that, 